العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم Cows, yeah. Cows, not cattle. Forty. Five. Eight. Huh? Fifty. No. Five. Um. Zahab. Eight. And how many dinars is that? Silver. Five hundred ninety-five. And the, when you look at dirhams, what about dirhams? What is the nisab for for silver in dirhams? That is the asal. Two hundred. Nuqud, currencies that we have money. Is there zakah wajib on it? Is zakah wajib on it? And what is the nisab? And how much is to be paid? First, is there zakah on it? What is the nisab for money? 595. Does everyone agree? Same as silver. Does everyone agree? The Baba said 595. Huh? Okay. Whatever it may be, let's say the nisab for silver is five five hundred or one thousand pound. Is that the nisab for money? Hmm? Is that always the nisab for money? For currencies, cash. The nisab for cash money. What is the nisab for it? We've established that zakah is wajib on Currencies, money, cash. We want to know the the nisab for it. The value of the nisab for silver. The value of the nisab for silver. It needs to be more precise than that. Huh? No, gold, gold is more, uh, silver moves around more than gold, fluctuates more than gold. The value of silver on that day. Can it in no way, in no circumstance, be the nisab for gold? The the nisab the nisab for money is the lower of the two. The lower of the two. So silver now at the moment is the lower one, like in there may come a time where it isn't the lower one. So it's always going to be the lower one. For you. مثلا الآن أم أم عائشة has gold. How does she find out what she has to pay? What steps does she have to take? From the sisters. Hmm? She has to weigh the gold. That's easy, Jade. She has to weigh the gold. Excellent. Find it. So she has to weigh the gold to find out how many grams she has. If it is above, the, it's the second step. If the step is if it is above the nisab. Now, if it's above the nisab, then she must pay 2.5% of the nisab, of 
the amount of gold that she has. For مثلا, in order to find out the price of one gram of gold, that's easy, you go online. Once you find out the price of one gram of gold, you times it by 85. That figure that comes out is the nisab for that particular day. So once you know what the nisab is, which is 85 grams, it won't change in terms of cash, it'll be whatever 85 grams is. And then you find out and you weigh, as the sister said, how much gold you have. If it is over 85, 85 or above, then you pay zakah. If it's 85, if it's Afwan, 83, 84, anything above 85, then you do not pay zakah on it. 85 and above, you pay zakah on it. Tayyip. Mathal, if she has 100 grams of gold, how much of that does she have to pay zakah on? Bear in mind the waqs. The wax being what is between the two nisabs. So if she has a hundred grand grams of gold, how much would she have to pay of that? Out of that hundred, I'm not talking about the nisab. I'm not talking about the two point five percent. She has to pay everything from the hundred grams, everything from the hundred grams of gold, two point five percent of the full amount because in with money, uh, gold uh, business merchandise and silver there isn't any wax and old kharij min al there isn't any wax tayyib how would you pay zakat on salaries Monthly, weekly, not so shame. Taib Hassan, so Mathalan, you say, I'm going to pick the 10th of Ramadan or the 20th of Ramadan. The 20th of Ramadan every year. Taib, carry on. Sahih. So there's two ways as the system mentioned Jazallah So the first is that a person picks or the person picks a day in which he or she pays all of their zakah or zakah on all of their wealth, all of the money that they have on that particular day. Or they can pay each month separately. Each month separately. But obviously there's going to be a lot of effort in there because you have to know exactly how much you had on every month of the year. Every month of the year. So if you take that method, if you use that method, more often than not you know how much to be paying, how much you need to pay. Lacking, and you'll be paying exactly that. Lacking, if you're paying once a year, there may come a situation where you're paying more than expected, more than you should have. مثلا الآن if you say I'm on يعني Ramadan last year, you had مثلا ten thousand. Ramadan this year, you've got مثلا twelve thousand in your account. Now. Somewhere along the line, how much has increased? It has increased by 2,000. Now that 2,000, you did not have it last Ramadan. So come this Ramadan, the year hasn't, a full year hasn't gone around with you owning that 2,000. Like when we said that, uh, anything that a person pays in that sense, that can be, not only can it be considered sadaqah, lacking, if they have paid in more than two years in advance, for example, that is permissible. 
For example, if they know that they're going to have a certain amount in their account by that time, they can, like Abbas Tan, radiallahu anhu, Abbas, the Am of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you can pay it in, in advance. You can pay in advance. Once you do pay it in advance, if you find out that you paid more than expected, it's sadaqah. Lakin if you find out you paid less than you should have, what should you do? Make up the amount that you should have paid. Um, before moving on from gold, can you combine wealth? Mathal and you've got, what was the nisab for the hab? 35 grams. 8-5 grams uh, Mr. you've got half of that You've got Mr. 45 grams of dahab 45 What was the nisab for silver? So, you, 200. so you've got 100 dirhams of silver Gold on its own Hasn't reached the what? And the silver you have on its own hasn't reached the nisab. Like when you combine them, they may reach the nisab, depending obviously when you do calculate. If you've got 80 or 45 methylen, or even let's say a bit more, methylen if you've got 60 grams of gold, and you've got 100 dirhams, you, don't, you can't pay zakah on gold, sah, because it hasn't reached the nisab. And you can't pay zakah on silver because it hasn't what reached the zakah. Can we combine? Hmm? Can we combine? Who says we can combine? Put your hand up if you feel we can combine. Stay three people in the whole majlis. Stay. So everyone else believes you can't combine it. Like, would you have to combine it? You've got wealth. Why not? For those that say you can't combine, why? Hey, but they're both thamaniya. In when we're talking about illa of riba, what is the illa for riba? لا لا no 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 ذهب فضة ذهب same إلا which is what ثمانية you use it to buy and sell you use it to buy and sell so the the إلا is one likewise currency is money the إلا is what the reason hmm Okay, so so you've said there's no specific evidence to combine because there's no hadith showing. For those that say you do combine, there were three of you, I believe. What makes you say that? Go. Well, should we start with the sister? There's only one sister. Go. As, as it is known in its usual form, is money. So is silver. So you can say gold coins, silver coins, they add up to a certain amount. Mm. That's my answer. So here, because they're both it's used as... Form, gold was currency, and so mm. silver. Mm. So it's just like us combining notes with 50 p's and one pound. Yeah, because it's wealth. So You know, um, like you mentioned last week, for the same reason we can't say that or the diff- when it comes to the khilaf between whether you have to use gold or silver, if we can't say that because the illa is the same, then by default we should take the lowest point, then how can we combine between them when determining if we can... Ahsan to Jay, mashallah. Tayyip, shahada, huh? I agree with you. You agree, yeah? Yeah. Tayyip. So it's all wealth. It's all wealth. Excellent. 
and the sister that said you combine? <coughs> hmm? Mm. No, sahih. you can calculate it when you when you when you convert it to money. You can find out exactly how much you've got, and then you can pay zakah on that. Tayyib. What about if I've got, مثلاً, four camels or three camels, three sheep? Or no, three camels, thirty sheep, and twenty cows. Hmm? You find that the value of each one And then you combine it so, Who said that? Did you say that? So why did you say You can't combine the cash then? Gold and silver They are used for milking and breeding. Yeah. Both. But they're not money in itself. They're wealth. Gold and silver have a specific myself. Right. Oh yeah, you just you didn't say you didn't. Okay. You, you said for last week that to combine the wealth of sheep and stuff, you have to you know, you have system like you're grazing in the same place, you're not in the same place, but some cows and camels belong. There's no zakat on that. On that, there's no zakat. On what you've just described, there's no zakat. Your everyday use, so the one you ride and you use. Mm. No, no, no. Everything that you've mentioned, mashallah, is is spot on. For those of you that said you can combine, the evidence that you use is in its place, and it's sahih. For those of you which are the majority saying that you can't combine, uh, that is also correct because of the evidence that you use. Especially the sister over there that said each one has its own nisab. The majority of the scholars say you can combine or you should combine dhahab and fiddah like in the Shafi'iyya say that la, you don't combine dhahab and fiddah you do not combine dhahab and fiddah in order to pay so that you can pay zakah and the reason is as the sister said the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for every type of nisab for every type of wealth he gave a specific nisab sah? طيب. If the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam wanted us to mix these types of wealth, their wealth, both wealth, whether it's gold or silver, then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam would have mentioned, would have mentioned a nisab for them, or he would have combined, or commanded for us to pay zakah on gold and silver if it reaches a certain amount. Also, if we say yes, we combine. We say we combine between gold and silver. What nisab are we going to use? Should we use the nisab of gold, or are we going to use the nisab of silver? If we say we're going to combine between the two, in reality we've we've come up with a nisab not mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah. We mentioned the nisab not mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah. And what kind of proves it is that if you look at the scholars that say yes you combine gold and silver When it comes to the issue of what nisab should we use They split into about eight different opinions Eight different opinions So Allahu A'lam looking the stronger opinion is that you cannot combine Dhahab and Fidda in order to um, In order to reach the nisab that the animals again you wouldn't combine between animals in order to reach a certain nisab the masala that you guys uh, 
done a research on which of zakat of al huli zakat al huli طيب uh, why did the scholars specifically talk about zakat al huli zakat al huli is the the the, 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 um, the gold that is used or the silver that is used for beautification from that women use as beautification why have the scholars radiyallahu anhum wa rahmatullahi alayhim ajma'in in their books of fiqh why have they specifically talked about it because zakat al-huli can be dhahab and if it is dhahab then we already know what the nisab for dhahab is and we already know that zakat is wajib on it so why have they specifically uh, pointed this mas'ala out it has a use. Okay. Excellent. And like you said, you have a use of it. You use it like clothing and food, and with your clothing and your food, you don't pay zakat. Tayyib. From the sisters, why? Zakat is well? Isn't wajib upon clothing or the clothes that we wear, Tayyib? Mm. Jane. The reason for the khilaf is When you look at it from one angle Zakat of the huli is something that you wear That women wear on a day to day basis And when you do qiyas When you do analogy of it It resembles the clothes that we wear صح? It resembles the clothes that we wear But when you look at it from another angle It's gold Hmm? Gold, money And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Gave us a nisab for gold And said that If it reaches that nisab It is wajib to pay Zakah So which one is it Closer to That is the Khilaf That is the Reason for the Khilaf Huh? Yeah. And the Prophet So that is an evidence for those that say um, for those that say it is wajib for you or zakah must be paid on it. Now, we'll talk about this masala inshallah. Hopefully, we'll try to finish it before Salat al Maghrib. Um, and the reason why we've mentioned it here, because we've already talked about zakah of gold and zakah of silver, of silver. And this is its place. So, in the books of fiqh, when you look into the. This Shaykh Sa'ad rahmatullahi alayhi hasn't mentioned it. So, if you look into the mutton of Manajah Salik, you won't find it. Lakin, you can say for various reasons. Firstly, 